Hello everybody, welcome to Nugo Terra Odyssey. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and you're relaxing and maybe getting your shop on today. I know I'm avoiding it with all my might because there's just so much crazy temptation everywhere. And that's why I love the illusion card in the center here because I'm like, do I really need that? There's so much want that is brought to the surface on like Black Fridays and Christmas time where it's like, oh yeah, that face cream, ooh, that makeup, those shoes, you know, where we can go bananas. But I loved these three together, the future illusion and knowledge. And I wanted to start with illusion because our brain and our mind and our ego and our intellect and our rationale and you mix all that stuff together in a blender and sometimes it really comes up with um, a corrupt script about ourselves or our capabilities or our incapacitation to do things that of course we can do it if we just absolutely simplify that's why i love looking into the future it's like what is our simplest straightest line to our next goal like what is our next goal mine is definitely still you know, healthy movement and study and journaling and thinking and um, unraveling some of the mysteries that pop up into our head. I'm so, so into psychology lately more than ever. And what I do is I try to separate, separate the fact from fiction, you know, the wheat from the chaff, like what is illusory to us? So many things in the materialistic world really are. If you use this cream, oh, this magic lotion, potion, whatever. If you look this way, if you do these things, you know, you'll be, oh, captivating this, that, and the other thing. But the truth of the matter is it all comes down to knowledge. It all comes down to like hard facts. And the facts are that when we look after our mental state, our physical state, our spiritual state, things that are illusory will stand out to us. Well, no, that is not true. That is not a fact. Um, I had a, such a great conversation with Joni yesterday, and we were talking about social situations where we could start to gaslight ourselves if people are just a little like performative or they're self-involved and all of a sudden they, um, they just act bizarre. And then we'll think, did we say something, do something? What is going on here? What did we miss? And then when we just stop and we implement the knowledge that most people in social settings have anxiety and they're nervous, so they get reactive, they get um, performative, they get a little off kilter. So when we look at it from an observational standpoint, like, oh, maybe they feel uncomfortable and they don't know how to react or respond, so they act like they didn't hear something or they become dismissive. And that is the wonder of, hey, I can protect my energy by realizing I don't have to engage in the petty and I don't have to feel like I have to competitive speak to belong. And I'm happy just to, you know, kind of just be out and investigate what people are up to and what they're doing. I don't have to especially actively participate in anything religious or um, uh, political for sure. And when we're looking like towards the future and we're making plans, it's one of those things where it's like our imagination and what can it, it can create daydreams, illusion, seduction, difficulty, distinguishing between illusion and reality, uncertainty, smoke and mirrors, options to choose from that lots of times things aren't as they appear. So let's investigate. Let's bring knowledge in this, especially you guys out there in the, um, digital dating world everybody is putting their fantastic foot forward and i tell you why it's usually not the entire truth so investigate have phone calls make sure you you know you can facetime too people and i i have so much compassion for people that aren't comfortable like with their aging process or thinking that they need to look 10 20 years younger so they use really old photographs stuff like that but i have more respect for people that are just honest they're like like look this is me this is um what i'm about this is my true age and just you know owning it and stepping into it but again providing yourself with knowledge of the reality of what's taking place so um you know no sneaky surprises come across the uh horizon because right now so many people are searching for spiritual truths um, they're going to be leaving things behind. They're going to let go of the past and move on. Um, when we're questing for our inner truth and we're seeking the spiritual realm, we need the, these little pilgrimages, you know, where we gather knowledge and we say, you know what, 
this is really matrix mentality. This is really consumerism. This is really mob mentality. And I would rather spend some time alone and really figure out what's going on. And I feel with the internet these days too, it's so lo it's so lovely because nobody is truly alone. There are so many wonderful groups out there for everything, for musicians, for people seeking spiritual um, encounters with other people, humorous groups, just amazing things out there. And I feel like now a lot of us are recognizing, you know, I'd rather have true, authentic, meaningful interactions than just go out in a group and just sit there and kind of suffer through it, that kind of thing. You know, this is about finding wonderful kindreds and sharing love and emotions that we can express that also lead to spiritual awareness. I feel like all of these together is that gorgeous ace of cups moment you know being open to love receiving the light of the divine being filled with love and joy and again we can't fill a cup that's already full so receptivity to allow for fullness and letting go and surrendering to joy and bliss and fun and peace just being channeled into our lives because we're not allowing those old tendencies of lack mentality to come in it's just like that's an illusion our lens of life that we peer through when we feel full and happy and optimistic and you know we can set that one little goal with simplicity for the future we apply knowledge and we move slowly towards it and we don't rush another thing that i found myself doing and i feel so much more contentment recently is if i see an email or a request for something or Hey Mel, can I see um, some of your new creations that you made enjoy? Can I see this and that? I don't feel like I have to rush to reply. You know, if I have things going on that hour that day, it's like it's not going anywhere. And giving myself that time and that like, you know, absence of plans for a little while while I sip my tea. It's such contentment and grace and peace and quietude that it really lets me build the future with knowledge and remove the illusion that something is wrong, lacking or missing, that everything I need is there, all the ingredients, you know, beautifully provided through synchronicities and alchemy in the universe and support all of that. You know, even sometimes just watching the, a lovely tarot reader that has a nice voice, has nice sentiments, is uplifting. I'll tap into that aligned energy and I'll be like, whoosh, I feel better because that is true. My perspective of how I see myself and my world matters. So I'm going to look through it a lens of love and acceptance and absence of plans and calmness and, you know, just push forward beautifully with soothing energy, calming energy. Go buy yourself a little bouquet of fresh flowers and just have it on the table in front of you. That knowing there's life of all kinds everywhere that's magic that comes from a little seed. And that's what we plant in our mind. What seed do you want to plant? Big, beautiful bouquet of sunflowers that are warm and friendly, right? Or weeds that you get lost in. Uh, you know, it's like it's all, all our choice. And that's the great issue as well. It is all our choice. And s subject yourself to good energy, humor, uplifting speakers talkers news all of that because what we ingest through the media is just as important as well so love and light you guys that is what you are meant to hear today i hope you guys have a great black friday